Arr, aloha mates. Welcome to my world of briny deep. So you want to know how to sleep. Insomnia is taking a toll on you. Tune in for the entire series. Years past, a night came when I simply could not sleep. It went on for six months till I was incapacitated, fatigued, utterly exhausted until the leading sleep specialist from Stanford University noted that I had forgot how to sleep that I needed to be coached how to sleep based on marine mammal research. Hmm, I was skeptical till I began playing, working on living on and in the ocean full time. I've had the incredible privilege as a marine naturalist, diver and captain to watch, observe, sleep and rest with a myriad of whales and dolphins over the years. This series is based on the Hawaiian spinner dolphins and the melon-headed whales, plus a few insights from humpback whales. I'd like to introduce you to these critters and their locales in part one. As I was making my way early morning, out of days of relentless squalls in the intertropical convergence zone near the equator to the eastern Pacific Ocean, Hundreds of melon-headed whales emerged, heading the same direction as me. Researchers know very little about these creatures, as they are seldom seen. I discovered them to be incredibly similar to spinner dolphins. As I looked behind the pod, I saw this shark trailing them. Take another look. I saw this shark trailing them. I sailed ahead to Terena, also known as Washington Isle, an island incorrectly charted based on surveys by Captain Cook and Bly of the 1800s. It was misplaced seven miles on modern charts, and a massive reef that gave me fits was not indicated. A few hundred people live on this island dead center in the Pacific. There is no airstrip, and at most a cargo ship once or twice a year visits. A freshwater spring and the heart of the isle flows up freshwater, creating an oasis and a desert ocean. An amazing place. Amazingly, these whales arrived a few minutes after me at the only sandy, calm, protected shore where there was no current. We were together for the same purpose, to mend, repair, nurture, rest, and sleep. Across the Hawaiian Isles, I've had the amazing honor to sail, anchor, swim, float, and free dive with spinner dolphins. The big island, Maui, Molokai, Lanai, Oahu, Kauai, Nigahau, and Lehua unveiled numerous pods sharing some of the same feeding grounds or kitchen galley, so to say, in deep rough water, yet each pod selecting a different long-term bedroom close to shore in calm, protected, shallow waters with a sandy bottom. Humpback whales share the same bedroom and living room. That is the same waters at each island as spinner dolphins to rest, play, give birth, and nurture pups for good reason. There are three realms of existence or being, both for these cetaceans and humans, for these dolphins, whales, and humans. Number one, the twilight zone being the buffer zone between being awake and being asleep. Number two, the active state being the galaxy of one's daytime or awakened status. Number three, the passive state being the galaxy of one's nighttime or passive sleep status. Once you fully understand and honor these three states of being in your own life, 
You'll sleep much better and enjoy a healthier, balanced, and better life existence. Be sure to subscribe, ask questions, and leave comments that I may be able to better offer insights into your unique situation and curiosities. Be sure to check back for part two, part three, maybe a part four. Have a great day. Mahalo.